Czech Republic has had a long-term engagement with Ethiopia in natural resource management. We closely cooperate with government partners, private sector, universities, and by using unique NGO expertise. Our interventions are mainly based in southern Ethiopia. With the help of our experts, we've been able to rehabilitate more than 10,000 hectares of land in SNNPR in Sidama region. I work uh, for Offer Soil, which is a Czech organization focused on uh, sustainable landscape management practices in uh, Sidama region and Alaba zone. Our activities are soil uh, survey and uh, soil quality analysis, uh, landscape modeling and uh, advanced uh, GIS and remote sensing analysis. Uh, closely we cooperate uh, with uh, local NGOs and uh, with uh, Czech and Ethiopian Geological uh, Survey. Um, we are preparing thematic map, uh, soil and water conservation manuals and a lot of uh, training. Uh, mostly we are taking our data in field, we are using GIS uh, tools and uh, smartphone application. So all data we, uh, we collected in field are uh, uh, stored in an uh, online geodatabase and our team can uh, see and analyze them immediately. The interventions in natural resource management comprises of physical and biological measures. The physical measure includes watershed management that primarily targets the degraded areas and supporting the community through agriculture development and activities like establishment of closure areas, soil bonds, galley treatment, micro basins, and by constructing water harvesting systems, such as trenches and pits. Uh, these uh, structures are called uh, water percolation ponds. The major aim of these water percolation ponds is when a high amount of water is coming from here, it will run away and uh, affect the village and the, then the, finally it will go to the lake. So uh, excess water will be accumulated here. Besides that, the soil which comes through erosion will be here and now it's cold here and it's not affecting the village. It will be percolated to the soil and stay as a water bank. Besides this, uh, the, ex the soil is to stabilize it. We apply direct uh, sowing and mostly we use this uh, Dodonia angustifolia it can grow through direct sowing and you can see all these uh, were sown in last uh, August but they grow by uh, themselves and after some time they will st stabilize the structures and uh, through such a workers we are just improving the landscape reducing its effect on the farmlands and uh, finally also uh, sedimentation problems will be reduced through such structures uh, into Lake Hawassa and that's how this project is working. The biological measures include capacitating the nursery at the project area by increasing the production of seedlings which will be distributed to the communities and utilized for the afforestation of the hills and closure areas. Closure areas are being established and local communities learn how to manage the land in the future. This has helped communities to ensure that the future is protected from degradation. The NRM intervention also introduced improved seedlings and fruit varieties to the farmers in the project area. The intervention has also introduced innovative ideas such as direct sowing, agroforestry, conservation agriculture, and the training of various levels of stakeholders. This helped in ensuring the long-term sustainability of our intervention. Now we are found at the Kulufo Kavale area closures. Uh, it has been closed for so many years and uh, it was very uh, bare and highly degraded area. And it's found at the top of the Kavale and it is a top for the watershed. So uh, it was affecting so many uh, uh, farmlands uh, to the downstreams, Kavales. So uh, the activity what we done here is that uh, giving training for the community to rehabilitate the upper part of the watershed and by giving different uh, farm tools to do these uh, soil and water conservation activities. Malo maldo makaga mogova yelo Mahe 